Hello and welcome. Today I want to share a flip through of these three Halloween themed junk journals that I'm going to, I've already listed actually in my Etsy shop. And of course I'll provide a link to the, uh, to my shop down in the description box below. I am going to go through the first one in real time and then I thought I would speed up the, um, the other two because they're very similar and I don't want this video to be way too long so hopefully that works out um, first of all they all have these tassels and a charm they're slightly different charms which I'll show each one this one is called happy haunting because of the haunted houses I guess <laughs> this is how my videos just get too long because I just start rambling um, anyway, so they have a lot of linens, doilies, and um, tags, and lots of everything Halloween themed. So this is one of the tags I made. I clipped it in there so it wouldn't fall out. They have little charms, and they all have three signatures. A few pockets and tuck spots here and there. I... Um, dyed some of the paper with purple, orange, and some black, which you'll see. And I have some vintage um, ledger paper, some scrapbook paper, miscellaneous papers, my vintage dictionary paper. There's the black papers I did. I tea dyed them first, and then I um, kind of sprayed them with the uh, different colors. And made a lot of little tuck spots. Oops, I love this little, um, I think it was a handkerchief or a napkin, I don't remember. The little flip with the little tag inside of it. I did a little bit of stamping. A lot of the decorative uh, pieces are Tim Holtz ephemera. And then these, some of these, like this one, are from the Graphics Fairy, which if you don't know about that, their website has a lot of free images um, that you can use. But they also have um, a paid membership where you get a little more um, content that you can use. But this is a picture. I don't know if you can see this, but the picture turns into a, um, it's like normal and then it turns into a skeleton, one of those kind of pictures. I don't know if that showed up at all, but hopefully it did. Sorry, I'm kind of scattered with this because I want to do it quickly. I want to do it thoroughly, but quickly because um, I just think this will take too long if I go slow. Um, this is a little envelope with that I made out of book pages. And here's a little um, file folder that I clipped. This is not attached. And each one has a file folder. It's just a different pattern of paper used. I used to make those. Again, lots of pockets and tuck spots and I always like to put paper there's another little charm of a bat I always like to put papers in my um, journals so that people can write make notes and attach it or keep put it back in the pocket if they want to so as you can see it has some nice decorative little embellishments but it also has lots of room to journal and decorate yourself. There's another little flip. And a belly band. Book pages. <clears throat> Excuse me. More scrapbook paper, more of the vintage um, a post copy of a vintage postcard or of some sort and then um, I use a lot of pretty I think pretty 
linens. There's another one of those pictures where she turns into a skeleton, sort of, when you tilt it. And that is the end of that. I sped this part up, as I mentioned, because the features of each journal are very similar, as you will see as I go through these quickly. A lot of the embellishments are very similar. Some are the same. I used a lot of pretty vintage linens in these, I think. And they each have the similar number of little flips and tuck spots and things like that. So I made them all together so that they would be similar and have similar features. But of course, you know, I only have one of some of these items. So they all have to be a little bit different. There's one of those um, little envelopes I made out of um, vintage paper. And that was a file folder a second ago. Each uh, journal also has a little charm. You'll see there at the beginning of each signature. So they have three charms, each one. And lots, as you see, lots of tuck spots and embellishments, but also lots of room to decorate and journal yourself. So I think it's a good combination. There's another pretty... Um, handkerchief or napkin I'm not sure what that is so that's the second one and there's the third one showing you the charm this one I made a pocket out of a vintage handkerchief I'm pretty sure that one's a handkerchief because it's very thin uh, soft fabric it's so lovely I like the way that turned out and um, this one has a little different fabric also there as a pocket pretty embroidering and um, again, similar features. Um, I don't have too much to add, I don't think. Um, there's the other side of that pocket, and I put the charm there instead of on the black of the beginning of that second signature because the black charm I didn't think showed up on the black ribbon as well. So as I flip through this, um, journal I'll say again that I have a link to my Etsy shop in the description box below that's one of those envelopes I'm showing each one has one of those envelopes I may have already said that and um, I'll put a link to my shop and once you get to my shop it should be pretty easy to find these um, journals I'm listing them separately so you know which journal you're getting I'll include pictures of each one so that you can see you know some close-ups and I'll also put a link to the graphics fairy where you can get the free images I use them a lot so thanks for watching see you soon